Hi, my name is Dex from my consult and today we're looking into creating new stock items inside AutoCount and to link it to different account codes. So in AutoCount, we use stock groups to actually manage which account code it will be posted. So if you like to know how you can actually create the different stock groups, you can actually find the link in the description below. So in this part one video, we are looking into the basic fields available in maintaining your stock item. So to do this, we need to come to stock, stock item maintenance. All right, and then we press new. Okay, so what you can see here, you can see actually there are a lot of fields that might not be available in your auto count. But what happened is because I actually turn on a different optional modules such as advanced item, batch number control, serial number control. All right, so if you like to find out more, we actually will release new videos regarding these modules. And if you're interested, you can actually contact our team and they will be able to assist you in this. All right, so back to our video. When we want to create a new stock item, there are a few fields that are actually very critical. First, we will need to key in the item code, the description, the item group, the costing method means here. So of course in auto count, we actually have different costing methods like weighted average, last in, first out, first in, first out. And of course, whether or not you keep stock or not. And finally, the most important is what is your unit of measurement? So do you sell in pieces, in kg, in packets, in tins, all right? So for this example, let's create a book called Atomic Habits. So let's say item code here, we put the item code, which is your barcode. Okay, then let's write the description, Atomic Habits. All right, and from here in the item group here, we will actually select books. So it will be posted into book sales, all right? Okay, and then of course, this is applicable for sales and purchases. Right, so for us, this example, we will use weighted average, so your cost will be averaged out, and we want to keep stock, so we make sure we take this, all right? And finally, our unit of measurement, we will put this as unit. Okay, or oh, let's caps at unit. All right, so once you are done, we just press save, and it's already available to be sell or purchase, all right? So this will be the basic information you will require to key in to create a new stock item inside AutoCount. If you want to find out more, we are going to release a second part the following week. So do like and subscribe to be notified when we release the second video. Thanks.